All right, we have rescued Ferber. Ferber is on board. I don't know what the target is. They need to fix that bit. Okay, so we will be on to Ike, where we have to land. This should not be hard, Ike. Oh, come on, Ike. <laughs> One time you're not going to actually just grab onto us. Okay, fine. Let's go with the other one. I'm not gonna wait around for you. Seriously, that distance is definitely putting us in Ike's SOI. Why is it not admitting that we are going to be in Ike's SOI like that? Hold on, I maintain that this one would work too. Okay, there we go. Why, why does it not tell me that we would encounter it on the other side? Fine. We'll take this one. Mere 300. We'll have to ditch this stage anyway at some point. I packed a lot. I did not want to mess up after- considering we were rescuing a Kerbal on this one. I didn't want to have to rescue the rescue, that's for sure. There you go. Behold the poodle. <laughs> if you need lights, it just means that you're not firing your engines nearly enough. Sort of a free return. Yeah, we can get closer. It's like... Okay. Okay, at least there should be science if we go into Ike Isawai, right? Actual, actual science. Of course, we've got the samples from Ferber. Um, we could transmit the surface sample data. Okay, well, let's transmit the crew observations from high orbit around Ike first. But yeah, landed at the monument. Wonder if there's a monument on Ike. Okay, so those are the ones we can transmit. That crash is... After we go back out into Duna SOI and come back in, I guess? Interesting. Okay, Ike. That would be a place for a monument, maybe. I don't know. Can't see anything yet. Or that mountain. Bit of a Duna glow? Seem to be getting some glow. Yeah, I think it's a... There's, there's actually... Um, what was that mod called that adds the glows? Planet Shine, right? I think there's a bit of a Planet Shine thing going as far as Duna's color on us right now. Okay, so we can transmit the low over Ike. And capture. I'd like to land in daylight. Is there any indication that there's some interesting craters and mountains? I don't know where a monument might be hanging out. With my luck, probably in the nighttime side. But yeah, let's just land in daylight. Now, let's see. Uh, on the ground, is this going to be facing... It would be facing the curb inside. So, yeah. So we're not going to be testing any calm peculiarities in this case. Let's just say we're going to go for this area rather than that lightish colored area. I guess those would be the highlands. They seem less impacted. Or those are the Midlands and these are the Lowlands, something like that. Okay, well, we should probably get them with this stage. Looks bumpy. Hmm. 
I, I want to land over here. This spit looks a little bit wicked. The Terrier. Bloop. Okay, the legs... Well, something didn't have a collider there. I think I'll retract those solar panels. Oh, they can't retract, right. This could be... that could be dodgy. Oh, it's not ignited. There's a pit there. It's really bumpy. It's really, really bumpy. <laughs> it's not great. Nice explosion. It's still a little bit going. Oh, thing a bit the dust. So the pod's reaction wheel is really powerful, so I think it won't wobble so much. But with a weak reaction wheel, I think they wobble a lot more. But that's as much as I want to demonstrate that. Uh, no! Eek! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want them to go outside. <laughs> um, so we completed that, right? Uh, I guess we have some samples to pick up. Volcanic fields is what the biome is. Whoever we send outside is probably gonna kill that antenna. Neil Dunn. I mean, he's called Neil. Oh, well, okay, okay, missed the antenna. All right, all right. It's a good start. Leaning Tower of Landerpod. I should increase the uh, decrease the suspension and increase the sniffness, so whatever the heck. Um, did it actually do that? Anyway. Um, the Terrible 3 on Ike. Oh. I don't have enough letters for that. I can't say that. 3... Trio... Trio. We'll just go trio. Need more letters. Oh, good. See, Neil is good at that sort of thing. Uh, do I dare go to mission control to confirm that we've got the thing done and then come back? I guess we should check that out. Okay, Three's Company, yes, submit. 800 for that. Okay, okay. Alright. Basically, we've got jewel things next. Uh, let's go back to our mission. Very daring of me. Ike mission landed on Ike. Control. Alright. Very important test of the stability of our very precarious pod. Okay. I don't think we have anything else to do here. I mean, we could land on another location, but we'll save that for later. All right. Let's go this way. I like going pro-grade. Terrain! <laughs> bring them back and the pod explodes because of the heating. I think Kerbin has to be 75 degrees behind Duna for the return. If I recall correctly. 
Well, we'll have to wait a bit. That's a nice little volcano there. I don't see a monument, though. Very bumpy terrain, I guess. Okay, more or less in the correct situation. We want to go that away. No, oh, no, we should wait a little bit longer. Well, that's a Kerbin PE. Is it being honest about? I don't think that's us. Yeah, that's that's for something else entirely. No, this this has to be my focus. I don't care about that Kerbin PE and AP. Going directly out from Ike is tricky. Okay, that's worse. And slightly less Oberthy. But I don't want to get down to low Duna orbit anyway, at this point. We have plenty of Delta V, though. It's not going to admit that we're close enough, is it? <laughs> uh... Maybe just a little tweak. Oh, whatever. I'll take that. Okay. So we will do this. And then we'll be headed out. Oh, 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 oh. Too late, too late. No, it's, they need to be precise. Gosh darn it. Focusing on the volcano. It'd be really fancy if uh, randomly one of them was active and actually did a volcano thing. I mean, they've got explosions after all. A certain time, a certain day, to catch it just right or something. No, oh, that's a little encounter thingy. Okay. It's even better than expected. Okay, no, we lost it. <laughs> and it's gone. Ah, we lost it. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Alright, I just want an encounter, we'll figure it out. We could probably... No, no, I don't think we could capture back, but maybe. Let's just leave it outside the atmosphere first. Okay. Out to the main course correction. Our Kerbals are looking good for their return. Okay, departing Ike SOI. Which is big. <laughs> Ike SOI is big. Okay, and departing Duna SOI. Bye bye, Duna. Up oh, and hello, sun. Best lot of calm range, huh? That's surprising, since we're closer to Kerbin right now. We didn't lose the... No, we've got the antenna. Hmm. I don't know why our vessel is out of calm range. Which vessel? They didn't really say. Those I don't care about. Destroy should not be that close to focus. <laughs> Very nerve wracking. Okay, where's. Okay, we need to keep burning, I guess. Okay. Okay, now it's all messed up. <laughs> we'll just go there and fix, fix it. It's fine. Okay. Okay, radio in. There's Kerbin. That's the moon. Mimis is hiding out, waiting to jump on us. So now the question is whether I should make it safer by using the Delta V that I've got to capture first. Just in case, because thermal. New thermal. You know, thermal that we haven't tested a whole lot yet. Or... We could just wing it and see how it goes as is. 
and bring the periapsis in directly. How much does it actually take to capture here? Not much. In fact, I could get it into a low carbon orbit with the Delta V that I've got. So, I'm gonna save. And then we'll go straight in. <laughs> without using that Delta V. But, if horrible things happen, I reserve the right to save them. By loading up that save. So. Was there special science here? Makes a sound. Uh, we got... No, we can transmit that? Okay, I guess we can transmit that. Fine. We'll transmit that. We don't get many clouds when we're high up like this. There should be more clouds. It only seems to work on the clouds when we get closer. Okay. Stump off the service module. Or lander stage. It did everything, really. Okay, well, deploy settings. I really would like that in altitude, but anyway. We'll deploy it when it's appropriate. Okay, flames happening. Got 0.8 tons of ablator. We'll see how much we end up with. Oh, nope. Uh, I wanted surface. What the heck is our target? <laughs> well, seems pretty safe. We only ablated 0.04, so... We don't ablate that much. Okay, this patch doesn't seem too bad. Okay, parachute. Okay, very good. Ten point three meters per second though, a little bit rough. Ow! Ow. Very rough. Okay, but but okay, okay. Um, I don't want them to grab surface samples. Let's just, let's just, uh, recover a vessel. Okay, we got a whole bunch of science points. Finally brought back the stuff that Ferber Kerman had. Okay, so, having done that, we will next be turning to Jewel. We need to send a probe there with a big antenna. And... We also... Oh, there's Eve Sphere influence, though. We'll see which one comes up first, as far as the planetary alignments are concerned. But I think that was a very clear mission, and I'll wrap it up here for today. And we'll tackle this stuff tomorrow.